Coming live from the command center of the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. This is what I've done today, guys. I decided to connect the XYZ. I think I came up with an in, like an invert. I N V T. I think that's what it meant. X Y Z invert. Maybe invert a short uh, abbreviation. Power inverter. Thousand watts. And one one thing I want to mention. One of my guests is so smart. Like I told you guys when before before the video started, I said I have a smart viewers. And he had mentioned that he saw underneath here it's not like a 20 of 36 volt is marked on a 48 volt so the 36 if you look at here the 36 is the box before but they marked the 48 volt right here and I was gonna argue with them I was like well you heard what I said on the video and this is a 36 volt because that's what L told me but if you look at the box 24 volt right before okay 12 at the front 20 let's see so this if I take the first box as a 12 24 it's gonna be like 36 but there's no box on the back here so I think 12, they just mentioned 12 or indicated 12, but actually is uh, the box is uh, uh, in front of the 24. So you start from 24, 36, and 48. I think that's what um, L get confused. He said it's a 36 volt, but I think it's a 48 volt. All right, it's a 48 volt. Just look at this hertz right here, 50 and 60. So the box is right in front of the the 24 and the 48, so a uh, 48 volt. So I decided to um, come from work and wired my um, my batteries here with a, a top band batteries is a 3.2 volt LFP, and I tried on 36 volt, and it came on. It worked. And the indicator is a blue and the red shows the voltage. This is for the battery and this is for the AC out. And there is no indication here, the red light. What I read on the book right here, if you look at what it says, it said uh, input voltage alarm and uh, the red light lit alarm on input voltage protection red light lit alarm on and no AC I proved that and that's what happened and now the output over load short circuit protection it will tell you again the light so what I happened I tried the 24 volt and uh, sorry the 36 volt the light came on this light, the blue indicator, the red, and this light stayed uh, instead of red to blue. So we have power AC out. It's kind of interesting. This guy doesn't let you if it's over, or overload or over voltage. No AC power at all. So let's see what happened. I end up going to 48 volts just to prove it. But this thing doesn't have this xyz inverter doesn't have um what's the input range i cannot tell what's the input range i i'm looking at a book right here there are all bunch of uh, voltages here which you can buy like inverters they can go up to that range up to i think if you ask them they can customize some high voltages for you about 80 volts or something and um, it's really cool then they can able to adjust that for you right here because if they put it in the book that mean that means they can do it up to about 80 volts 
you see 90 60 to 90 volt and slash 80 so this 80 starts from 80 to 120 so you can have a dc input all the way from 60 to 90 volts that'll be interesting to try 90 volt inverter yeah that's gonna be super efficient i suppose if it's really um calibrated or uh potential meter is set correctly and i think you will enjoy a very good but the problem now you're not going to have a charge controller that is a 90 volt. I know like um, the Midnight Classics can do that. If you go with the um, up to I think 72 volt. One of the Midnight Classics can do that. But this guy, I, I would like to try a 90 volt. I saw one of my guys, um, uh, I think he's in Canada. I think he tried, uh, it was a... Uh, flipping 720 i think it tried something like a higher voltage before on an inverter if i can remember correct me brother if i'm wrong but that's really interesting so now let's go back and do the testing here that really gets us into this one old controversy and uh, or maybe a discussion with this um uh subscriber I cannot recognize him. I think he's, uh, he's a newcomer on my channel. So unless he has been watching without uh, commenting or he just joined the, the 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 channel, but this is what I'm trying to what 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 we just read here and look what happened on a 48 volt. We have the blue light. Okay. The blue light is on, no power indication because sitting at 53.2. And other thing I just learned, and it seems like the meter here is very, very accurate. It's 53.2 right here. Okay, so we're gonna set the, uh, the fluke meter right here and test the battery terminals, positive and negative. Is gonna give us the same voltage stay tuned as people have been saying fluke meters are very accurate and very reliable um, tester so look at that 53.2 and if I go right here I think because of the lights you see 53.2 so it's dead in accurate so but now because of this we cannot get any power or any output okay I'm gonna stick the probes right here and go about testing it like I mentioned yesterday some of the Chinese Chinese invert not all of them are really um, um, bad but some of them are terrible they can make some few things which are really nice you know they like to fabricate new things and whatever things that probably can just find in the market with other people you can find they can create something or put something that's not maybe not even um designed or sold in the u.s or u.s um manufacturers they never made something of that nature i know they know what to do but they've never produced something of that and the chinese will probably try to do something like that so that they can just get a market so let's see we turn this guy no power nothing it's nothing so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna eliminate one of the batteries here so we can stay um this is a 48 volt right now so 4 a 12 4 8 12 16 there's 16 batteries at 8s and these batteries are not charged yet i'm gonna remove this one of this battery eliminate this bus bar so we're gonna tie this negative right here and watch this thing is gonna fire it up so we know that it, it doesn't take about 53.2 so I'll look at it. If I want to come back to conclusion, I want to take it still at the 
36 volts yeah i'm gonna still take it at a 36 volt inverter okay because it can only go up to that 50 maybe 48 because it's a 36 it can go up to 48 very close to 50 that's a 38 volt a 36 volt inverter so i want to come to that conclusion now these batteries are not fully charged so if you multiply 3.2 times um, um, 16 of those batteries you tell me give me the math and you see exactly what i'm talking about because a full charge 48 volts 16 modules supposed to give you about the 63 or 65 volt in top charge okay but now we cannot make it to that point these batteries are not fully charged at all so if i have to take these probes right here and try to measure um each cell the volt of each cell it will tell us exactly what it is so let's take this probe and stick it to one of these batteries here the gold one always is a negative one according to um, their setup here for these batteries and is 3.32 volt so this battery probably is gonna be approximately at um, what 70% or 65% charge is a 3.3 so it's not fully charged so they all had the same voltage but I cannot run a 16s on this inverter at all I cannot run 16s because this inverter is not a 48 volt I can say that again my viewer you're really smart but a 16s can go really higher so let's eliminate one of these battery and we can get this inverter run trust me stay tuned I've seen this before and yeah, I know what I'm talking about like and subscribe JW Solar USA so we're gonna take this guy out and um, this guy I know a lot of you guys are already scared because he said oh man you didn't put any tape on that wrench or that socket or that wrench or that tool and uh, yeah I know it's scary you have to be really scared when it comes to batteries like this they hold a lot of power and they can cause a whole bunch of destruction and you don't want to be part of that deal at all so what we do we're gonna take this bus bar out I'm doing this all in a risk don't try that at home okay don't try that at home because you have to put a tape into this you don't want to get uh, zapped or arced so we're gonna take this guy we eliminate one battery let's put this washer right here and tie seven no um instead of seven we do uh 15 batteries then the way it is right now that will give us a full this inverter probably gonna see is a full charge battery bank okay or suppose just to do 14 batteries here maybe so now we already got this bad boy in place so let's put back the um the probes right here and test the voltage on the voltmeter on the fluke to see the voltage we have right now there you go 49.9 volt 
49.9 according to this battery if you go with the specification charging probably we can keep this one like a full charge or one more was to be on a 50 cross the 50 threshold for 900 millivolt and let's try it and you will see this inverter is gonna rock and let's go I'm still wrong. The voltage is still high. So that tells us this is a 49.8 volts. And we're not going to have any power. So, for the sake of this, we're going to eliminate another battery to see. This is just a test for you guys to see. You know, newcomers, you have to. This is the problem about this inverter. It doesn't tell you the input range how high or how many batteries you can put in series okay stay tuned we're going to eliminate one more battery now we took two batteries off how many batteries left 4 8 12 13 14 that's a 48 volt it's still going to be considered like something like that let's go back and try it I like this I like this kind of conversations because I've tried to um, tell the uh, guest or the, the subscriber my subscriber this is a 36 but okay I tend to look at what um, how the thing was marked and we're about to prove it this is what we do in this channel you know we have a disagreement about something let's try and rectify the problem and see how we're all gonna come to a final consensus or final agreements here with everybody so this is lesson learned so let's go back here and get whatever we are trying to achieve from this little um, disagreement to a final conclusion so let's see if I can able to work with this all right what we have right here forty six point five eight well we're gonna try this again forty six point five eight fire up the inverter yeah you go no more noise and the no red light and we're pushing hundred and twelve volt at 46.5 volt okay so it's working it works so this push the inverter to the max like the batteries are full for this i would say um 4 8 12 maybe 13 batteries if you charge them all the way top top balancing will give you exactly for this inverter because i'm we are just guessing there is no specification on this so how much uh, it can give you for um, the input so we're gonna test the probes here see the voltage no sorry I got an DC they put in AC there you go 112.5 I saw it first like hundred and 111.6 112 the uh, DC side is accurate and the AC side is kind of a little off. So let's see. Now let's try and power this guy by using our plug right here. Ah, the power came, the indicator came on on the uh, television stay tuned I meant to say the uh, standby light is on but I'm not gonna turn the TV on because I don't want YouTube to flag my video for copyright because of that broadcast I'm not gonna do it so it's just gonna stay like that lesson learn so I'm not turning the TV on I know it's working so that's it thanks for watching this is how we end the video. 
like and subscribe. JW Solar USA. That means it's a 36 volt inverter.